Good morning, viewer. Welcome to our first TV. Here's the breaking news from India. Yes, most of India, very parts of Northwest and Peninsula region is expected to experience about normal maximum temperature from April to June. The Indian Meteorological Department said on Saturday. It said about normal heat wave days are predicted in most parts of Central, East, and North West India during this period. During the 2023 hot weather season april to june most parts of the country are expected to experience above normal maximum temperature except for south peninsula of india and some parts of northwest india were normal to below normal maximum temperature or likely the imdc a significantly higher number of heat wave days are predicted over parts of bihar jharkhand uttar pradesh odisha west bengal chatisgarh maharashtra gujarat punjab and haryana imd director general Mrityunjay Mahapatra said in a virtual press conference a heat wave is cleared if the maximum temperature of a station reaches at least 40 degrees celsius in the plains at least 37 degrees celsius in coastal areas and at least 30 degrees celsius in hilly regions and the departure from normal is at least 4.5 degrees celsius India lost its hottest february this year since record keeping began in 19 according to the imd However, above normal rainfall 37.6 mm against a normal of 29.9 mm due to seven western disturbances including five strong ones kept temperatures in check in March. March 2022 was the warmest ever and the third driest in 120 years. The year also saw the country's third warmest April 11th warmest August and 8th warmest september since imd said normal to above normal minimum temperature are very likely over most parts of the country bearing some areas in north east and northwest india and isolated pockets of the peninsula region last month the center for policy research that is called cfr said a review of 37 heat action plans in india shows most of them do not explicitly carry out vulnerability assessment leaving the authorities with little data on where to direct their skewer resources heat action plans are primary policy response to economically damaging and life threatening heat waves they prescribe a number of activities disaster responses and post heat wave responses measures to reduce the impact of heat wave the weather bureau said india is expected to see normal rainfall in april based on data collected from 1971 to 2020 the country on an average receives 39.2 mm of rainfall in april perception is expected over most parts of northwest central and peninsular region while below normal rain is predicted in east and northeast india la nina condition cooling of the waters in the pacific ocean near south america that favors the indian monsoon have weakened according to the imd enso neutral condition are likely from april to june a transition to el nino is favored by july september with chances of el nino increasing through the fall mapatro said el nino the warming of the waters in the pacific ocean near south america is associated with the weakening of monsoon swells and less rainfall in india however The Met Office said that several models indicate the development of a positive Indian Ocean dipole in the coming month. The Bureau of Meteorology model also indicates the development of positive IOD by May 2023. IOD is defined by the difference in the sea surface temperatures between the western part of the Indian Ocean near Africa and eastern part of the Indian Ocean near Indonesia. A positive IOD is considered good for the Indian monsoon. The monsoon accounts for a amount 70% of the country's annual rainfall and irrigates 60% of its net sown area nearly half of the population depends on agriculture directly or indirectly The weatherman said at least 100 weather stations across the country reported heavy rain events 64 0.5 mm to 115.5 mm the highest since 2018 The prolonged spell of pre-monsoon rain, thunderstorms, hailstorms and lightning strikes damaged crops in many parts of Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and other states. The mango crop in the country has been damaged up to 20% because of the ultimately rains, hailstorm and strong wind according to senior officials at the Indian Council for Agriculture Research. Be at the support for Sakti B.